Welcome to a lesson on edge coloring and the chromatic index. The chromatic number of a graph tells us about coloring vertices, but we could also ask about coloring edges. Just like with vertex coloring, we might insist that edges that are adjacent be colored differently. Here we are thinking of two edges as being adjacent if they are incident to the same vertex. The least number of colors required for a proper edge coloring of a graph G is called the chromatic index, or edge chromatic number of G, written chi prime of G. Edge coloring refers to the idea of coloring each edge of the graph. Edge coloring is said to be proper if every edge incident to the same vertex is of different color, or we often just say an edge coloring is proper if every adjacent edge is of different color. The chromatic index of G is the smallest number of colors needed to get a proper edge coloring. Which brings us to Brooks' theorem, which is very helpful for determining the chromatic index of a graph. For any graph G, the chromatic index, chi prime of G, is either del G or del G plus one. Recall that del G is the largest degree of any vertex in the graph. Let's look at an example. Six friends decide to spend the afternoon playing chess. Everyone will play everyone else once. They have plenty of chess sets, but nobody wants to play more than one game at a time. Games will last one hour. How many hours will the tournament last? We begin by representing each player with a vertex and put an edge between all vertices since everyone plays everyone once. In this case, we get the graph K6, the complete graph on six vertices shown here on the right. We must color the edges. Each color represents a different hour since different edges incident to the same vertex, meaning adjacent edges will be colored differently. No player will be playing two games at the same time. Thus, we need to know the chromatic index of K6. To help us do this, we will use Brooks' theorem. To begin, notice each vertex has degree five, which indicates del G equals five. If del G equals five, then the chromatic index is either five or five plus one, which is six. And now see if we can determine a proper edge coloring in five or six colors. This can be challenging, and it is helpful to take a systematic approach. To begin, let's have these two friends play these two friends play and these two friends play. Next, we'll have these two friends play, these two friends play, and these two friends play. Notice so far, adjacent edges have different colors. Next, let's have these two friends play, these two friends play, and these two friends play. Notice so far, we have three different colors. All adjacent edges have different colors. For the fourth color or fourth hour, we will have these two friends play, these two friends play, and these two friends play. Again, all adjacent edges still have different colors. And then using the fifth color, which is gonna be the final hour of play, we will have these two friends play, these two friends play, and these two friends play. Notice all adjacent edges have different colors, meaning all edges incident to the same vertex have different colors indicating we have a proper edge coloring, and we were able to do this using five colors. The chromatic index of K6 is five. Therefore, the friends will play for five hours. I hope you found this helpful.